Today we'll be doing some advanced things with track templates, like setting them up in the SWS resources window, and then taking that and running it from a web remote. All right, so this is gonna have a few different parts. Um, first, we're gonna look at what is a track template. The second is how to save a tra track template. And so uh, that's just to get everyone caught up so we're on the same page with track templates. If you're not using track templates already, you really should. From there, we're going to be going into the SWS extension and the resources window uh, to get these set up um, and do some more, more advanced things with it, um, like adding them from the action list um, rather than going through a right-click menu and um, using the mouse for it. And then we're going to go into Reaper WRB, Web Remote Builder, and um, set that up so that from my iPad, I can uh, load in different virtual instruments and things like that. So we're going to start off with what is a track template? So a track template, I'll just load in one in here manually from right-clicking here, insert track from template, and I've got some different folders. So here's one, basic track folders. And so that loads up several different tracks with uh, a specific name, specific input, a track layout, a specific color, um, all these things that I like to have saved. And in the mixer view, I don't have any effects on here, but if I had effects, they would be inserted there. If I had any plugin parameters shown, they would be there. If I had sends to any of the other tracks that are within that same uh, track template, um, those that routing would be there. So I'll show you another example after I delete these. So I'll right click again, insert track from template, and here's one for Steven Slate drums. And so I have uh, a MIDI track with the plugin, and I've got uh, all the sends out, um, audio sends out to these other tracks, plugins on there, and all this kind of stuff. So all this stuff is saved with track templates. So let's make up a new track template, something that I might actually use. And what I have in mind for this, uh, especially because this is going to go into the web remote, so I can uh, hit a button on my iPad and then a plugin loads and then I can start playing right away on the keyboard. Um, I'm gonna go to insert virtual instrument on a new track. That's gonna save a couple steps with setting up the instrument. I don't know, let's do uh, OBXD and I'll load in a preset that I tend to use. Let's try warm pad. I mean, it's not great. I don't want to get distracted. I'll just use this this preset. Let's add in another effect to it. It's something that I no, I normally use on uh, a virtual instrument. Let's let's put Valhalla plate right on it, and we'll bring the mix down to an appropriate level. Sure, and maybe a bit of modulation from Micro Shift. And I'll set the mix to about 50%. Sounds great. OK, so that's going to be my track template. And so instead of saving it as an effects chain, I'm going to save this as a track template because it's got the track armed. It has the monitor enabled. It has a MIDI input already set up. I could set a color. So I'm going to use my shortcut for setting a color. Sure. I'm going to right click on the track to save this as a track template. Save tracks as ta track template. It'll ask you where you want to save it. So I want to save this into my instruments folder. You can have as many folders as you want inside here. I think you can only go one deep with the folders. And we're going to call this OBXD. You can optionally have uh, track items, like mini items are in here, or envelopes on the track. So I'll just save that. And let's do one more. Insert track from our insert virtual instrument. I'll take uh, Podolsky, and I'll go to the presets, and I'll take one of my favorites here. All right, that's a cool one. I'm going to use that one. Maybe I'll put in an EQ in here as well. So cut off the lows just a little bit. Sure. So it's like that, and we're going to save this as a track template after we color it. Uh, I'll do that color, right click on the track, save tracks as track template. 
Again, it's going to go into the Instruments folder, and we'll call this Podolsky. So, so far, we've looked at loading a track template from the right-click menu, Insert Track from Template. That's also in the Instrument menu, um, Track from Template, and how to save a track template. So I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to the Extensions menu and opening up the Resources window. So you do need the SWS extension um, installed for this. Um, we're, we're into the more advanced stuff. Uh, because what I would like to do is, is find ways to insert tracks without actually having to right-click in here. And this is a function that's only available inside of the SWS Resources window. Resources window is just, you can set up um, basically actions for the effects chains, track templates, projects, media files, images, and different themes. And so you can load these things on demand. So track template is the one, is the page that we're going to be on. And I'm going to add in one more slot. So I've got nine slots here. And number eight, I'm going to um, do load slot slash file. And it's going to bring up the track templates window, instruments, and I'll do Podolsky. And then here, uh, load slot slash file. We're just going through this pretty quickly. You can explore this window on your own. Um, but just for the purposes of getting this into my uh, tablet, this is all I need to do. So now I've got eight or nine slots of track templates that can be loaded. So if I'm running it from here, I can just double click on the number and then that's going to load it in there. But I don't want to have this window open. Um, once they're in here, they will also be in the action list. And so we're going to look for track template and slot. And then in here, there's all these actions for what you could do with track templates uh, based on the slot number in the resources window. My maximum number here is 32, but the default's going to be four. And in a minute, I'll show you how to get all those numbers. But first, let's look at what you can do with these actions. So let's say we want track not or insert number nine. So we're going to be looking at, let's just sort this by nine. So there's all these different actions. You can apply the track template plus envelopes and items to select the tracks, apply the template to a selected track, or import a track from the track templates. The actions that we want to use to get into the web remote are the import actions, not the apply. So apply will work on a track that's already inserted. So I'll just do that now. I'll run that. And so there, that track was blank before, and now it has all the attributes of that saved track template. And what we're going to be using uh, to go from an empty track or from no tracks inserted to the track that we want um, is the import tracks from track template slot nine. And so that's going to look like that. Adds in a track, arms it, puts in the, the instrument, gives it a MIDI input. The last uh, focused effects is going to be visible there. All those sorts of things are going to be saved along with it. To actually get that many slots in the SWS resources window, we need to open up um, Reaper's resources folder. So go to the options menu, show Reaper resource path in explorer slash finder. And this will work on Mac and PC. I'm on a Mac, obviously. So this is going to look a little bit different, but you're going to get to the same folder on, on Windows. When you have the SWS extension installed, you're going to have this snm.ini file. You want to open this up with a plain text editor or an editor that is made for writing code and things like that. Line 60 or thereabouts should be snm add track template equals, and then it's going to say four. I just set all of my slot numbers to 32. I think 32 is plenty. To get to this, just search for uh, track template or slot, and it should jump down to this section here. Uh, Command F, and we're going to look for uh, uh, template. And so it brings you up to there. Set it to 32, save the, the file, uh, restart Reaper. And then in the action list, you should have more than four slots um, in the resources section. So once you have the actions in the action list, you can do things like set up a, uh, a toolbar. Let's we'll modify the main toolbar here. So I will right click and then click on customize. Then we go to add and we're going to take that import tracks from track template slot nine, select and close. 
hit save, and now I've got a button on this toolbar that's going to run that SWS action to import the track template. There we go. So I don't actually want to modify this, um, this main toolbar. I want to set up a, a new one. So I can hit remove that item, save it, and I'm going to uh, go to a toolbar that I had set up previously. I'm actually going to import this into a web remote that I already have started. So I'm just going to um, clear this. All right, so I've got an empty toolbar menu here. I'm going to go to add. I'm going to add in slot nine. No, nope, that was the wrong one. I want to do nine. I also want to do eight with the import. Select. I also need a couple more actions here. I want to uh, toggle record arm. Toggle record arm for selected tracks. So I want to select that one. I want to uh, go to next track. Go to next track and go to previous. Go to previous track. So these will all be buttons on my uh, on my iPad to control Reaper. And I just want to get rid of this one here. All this looks good, and I'm going to click Save, and then I'm going to click Export. Export current menu toolbar to Reaper menu file. I'm going to save this to my menu sets folder, and uh, I'm going to overwrite my insert track template um, toolbar. Let's save and replace. All right, so I've got Reaper WRB running in my desktop browser here. I'm going to modify my add effects uh, web remote. And so it loads up in the editor. I've got a, another tab here for track templates. And you can see that some that I've already started here. I'm going to click on toolbar, import that one that I just modified. It's going to move that to another Another toolbar automatically, but it's OK. We can um, click on this and then click on Delete tab and keep the actions. And that's going to just shove them over to the previous tab. So I might actually set this up with some dividers and things. Uh, so there we go. So this is previous track, previous track. And let's do an up arrow. And this is next track and a down arrow. This is record arm. Uh, let's do that. Um, all right, so that's going to be toggling the record arm for the selected tracks. I'll do that color. And then this is my, let's see, number eight was OBXD. So I'll name that OB-XD. Use a piano icon and this one as well, a piano icon and Podolsky. Um, I'm going to move these over here because I got plenty of space on my iPad for, um, for width. Yeah, that looks about right, I think. Maybe I'll put in a, um, I'll put in a spacer here like that. Maybe double width. Yeah. So I'm going to save it. Um, save it as add effects. Sure. Save it to my database. Just need to put it into the right folder. All right. So now when I go to add effects and I go to the track templates page, I've got my saved web remote. Um, and now I'm going to go over to my iPad and we'll see if this is working. All right, so I'm here with my iPad. This is a uh, iPad uh, Air 3. And so I'm just going to refresh this page by tapping on the uh, Reaper WRB logo. I'll click on the Add Effects. I got a Track Templates tab here. And I can see everything is how I left it. So let's do, uh, let's put in my basic track folders. And I'll put in my favorite effects. And that's a bigger template, so that's going to take a little while. And I can, uh, I can do track selections here. And so let's say after my keys bus, I'm going to insert OBXD. And I'll put in Podolsky. 
And I think I got those those uh, the names backwards on that, uh, but it's all good. And I can toggle the record arm of that one and that one. Uh, let's turn that one on and play it. That works. Toggle that off and then turn this one on. I can also insert expand and I've got uh, four MIDI tracks. One of them has the plugin on it. I've got a folder um, for uh, keeping that all organized. And yeah, so I can record on three tracks or four tracks and it comes out stereo. So that's all I wanted to show you. I think this is a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, good use of the web remote, I think. Once you have this set up, you can kind of be away from the computer a little bit and, uh, and just focus on composing. This idea came from Dan Stanley. Uh, he, uh, he was having some trouble with the SWS resources. Um, as long as you're using that import action instead of the apply action, I think this should work really well. If you're interested in Reaper WRB, you can pick it up for $15 at the Reaper blog. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. <laughs>